What's going on guys? Etika from the Article World Network here and today I wanted to talk about what Nintendo stances on virtual reality headsets in the future and it's probably going to surprise you if you haven't heard about this news already but let's take a look at the My Nintendo News article right now because it's kind of odd. Nintendo, I suppose to a lot of people, when you ask them their opinion of them, usually they do gimmicky stuff, the 3DS and whatnot. Even though the 3DS is doing really well, but the 3D part was more of a gimmick, I suppose. I mean, I liked it at first, but in practice it was really bad. But actually, on the new 3DS, the 3D is much more bearable. But anyways, going off topic here, the 3DS, I guess, made people think that Nintendo would be more with gimmicky stuff and then the motion controls and whatnot. But when it comes to virtual reality, their stance isn't exactly the same. This is a really cool picture, by the way. Um, Reggie explains why Nintendo is betting on esports rather than virtual reality. And... It's a surprising thing to read, man. I mean, Nintendo not going for the gimmicky thing that everyone else is right now? Or rather, they didn't really... Because, you know, you know, Nintendo started... Well, I mean, Nintendo was one of the first to kind of pioneer virtual reality when it came to the... Um, what was it? What, what, was, what was that big-ass red headset? The, the Virtual Boy? I think that's what it was called. And that thing failed. So, I guess maybe they are still burned from that. But who knows? Let's look into the um, article right now. With most video game companies now jumping on the virtual reality bandwagon, it will no doubt surprise some people that Nintendo hasn't decided to venture into the space. Um, Reggie fils says that they have experimented with virtual reality and AR with the ill-fated Virtual Boy and 3DS. And, I mean, the Virtual Boy came out at the wrong time and had the wrong hardware. To be honest, man, I, I was hoping that when I started this video talking about the Virtual Boy, that it actually wouldn't be a part of Nintendo's reasoning and logic as to why they're not entering the virtual reality headset now. Because the Virtual Boy was almost, I mean, over 20 years ago, or almost 20 years ago, if not. Um, it's, it's a different time, man. Different place, different economy, different hardware. Different, different demand, you know? No one wanted virtual reality back then, but there's some people now that are actually big on the idea. I was really hoping Nintendo would not use Virtual Boy logic to make themselves seem as if they shouldn't enter the market now. Come on, Nintendo! Times change, man. Something that can come out in the past probably has a much better place in the present. Um, anyways, he also explained that they're currently conducting their own research with internal experiments, but the company simply does not believe that virtual reality is ready for prime time yet. Instead, they are focusing on the growing popularity of esports where they have seen big success with Smash Brothers and the recent Nintendo World Championships 2015. And aside from the annoying kid talking his ass off during the Splatoon fights and other things like that, the Nintendo World Championship was really fun to watch. It's a shame Cosmo lost and in such a bad way too. But um, it's, it's, it's still cool that the whole thing went down and it, it went down in a really cool way. It's nice. It's nice. Um, yeah, so we have a long and deep history with the virtual reality, with the virtual boy, and we also have a history with augmented reality because there's AR in Nintendo 3DS. Reggie said, um, we know the tech and we know how tech has evolved. For Nintendo, we always go beyond the tech to make sure that the experiences we do are fun and they're social. And I think those are two key opportunities today on the virtual reality and the augmented reality space. Are both fun and social? I don't think that's there yet. So we're going to continue to stay close to the technology, and we're going to continue to do our own internal experiment, but we don't believe that it's ready for prime time just yet. We saw success last year with the Smash Brothers Invitational, and Smash Brothers has always been a game in the esports community. Um, what we're really gratified to see is that the community has now embraced Smash Brothers for Wii U because it has the speed and customization they like. Damn right, man. Much better than Brawl. And we're, always, we're also seeing this embrace of Mario Kart 8 as well as Splatoon in competitive environments, and we've always been close to the esports space and will continue to be. We've always been close to the esports space? Uh, you need to change that statement, Reggie. We're fortunate that we've got the range of content to pull it off in the here and now, and we're really gratified to see the reactions. All that we're going to do in the mix is we think about proper opportunities, future E3s, as well as potentially taking the idea outside of E3. So it's something that we're going to be looking at really hard. Basically saying, we ain't fucking with no VR. And I can understand, a lot of people who have not tried VR to this day will feel like it's a gimmick. And before I tried the Oculus, man, you, you talked to me about virtual reality, I would have been like, gimmick, sign it off, next. But when I put on that Oculus Rift and I was playing those horror games, I have never felt so disturbed in my life, man. The thing is, though, is that you have to have a good computer to run a virtual reality game really well. If your computer is kind of subpar, then the game won't run as smooth as it should, and your experience will be watered down. Thankfully, I have this really good computer, so I was able to play the VR games perfectly, but um, that, I think, could be a hindrance to it. Maybe the technology surrounding virtual reality is enough to speed yet across the board for everybody in the world, but um, 
I see that as being the main thing. Remember, game streaming, like doing it from your console, but having the processing happening on a server and sending the signals back and forth, that's an idea that was tried out many times. In a lot of situations, it failed because we didn't have the overall technology to support the concept, even though the concept itself was an amazing one. But technology wasn't up to par to be able to keep up with the online latency and then, you know, people people, people not, just not having the connection to be able to do online game streaming like that. And maybe that's exactly what Nintendo was seeing when it comes to virtual reality across the board. Maybe the technology just isn't there yet. Because he wasn't really specific in this article. Even though Reggie made these statements and he said, oh, virtual reality, we don't think it's ready yet, he never explained why. Why? Well, I mean, he's, I guess he said maybe, oh, because, you know, in the social space, virtual reality wouldn't work too well. And, you know, I mean, I guess it's true. Like, if I have a VR headset on, I, I can't really play this with, I guess, friends in the living room or whatever, although they can see it on the TV. But I, I guess he's saying there's no way for multiple people to be engaged with virtual reality at the same time equally. Yeah, he's got a point. Unless you do something complex where you have like multiple people with the same VR headset and all unified in the same world. That would be insane. That would be insane, wouldn't it be? And maybe that's exactly what Reggie's saying when he says that the technology is where they want it to be yet. Something like that where everyone has a VR headset and they're all playing in the same space and doing the same like kind of world or whatever. That would be a phenomenal idea. Especially coming from me where I was a non-believer before and now I believe totally. That would be amazing. Maybe that's why Reggie's saying this shit ain't ready yet, man. It doesn't have that social integration of multiple people being engaged at the same time equally across the board. It makes sense. There's a lot of reasons why VR probably isn't ready yet for what Nintendo has plans on it. And I can understand it. At the same time, it does kind of suck to see that Nintendo is not jumping into the market along with Oculus, along with... Um, with, with fucking, who, who else is on this? A lot of people on this shit, Microsoft and Sony. Nintendo isn't jumping on board with this cool new kind of like out there idea. It sucks to see that they're not, but you know, I, I guess they know what they're doing per se. It depends on how you ask the question, but um, Nintendo, I, I trust their judgment, I do. It sucks that this isn't, this isn't going down, but like I said, you know, Nintendo, they just don't think the technology is there yet. And we'll leave the pioneering of VR to the other guys to get the technology up to speed. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.